But I do want to caution us not to simply focus on the power of the messages, because I think there's a larger issue at stake as well. And for me, I'm particularly interested in the fact that I am considering how that language of sacrifice has a larger effect on our cultural perception of environmental topics. So, finally, I already addressed it once, but I wanted to make sure, because I do believe it's one of the most important points that I can bring you, conduct evaluation research. At the end of this process, take the time to figure out, did it work? And if it worked, try and figure out why. That's the information that you can take back and hopefully redesign your programs to be more effective. Well, as I started with, I, I was asked to cover three different things in this presentation. Uh, some techniques for developing the right message for the audience, um, using effective mechanisms for the delivery of those messages, and some of these research findings. And as I have said, I hope you've been clear about, I do believe this has to be an interdisciplinary effort. Um, we can provide research methods, some theories and logic models to help us organize our thinking on these, and again, the application and feedback loops for stimulating environmentally responsible behavior. And again, you may look at it as trust development or, or simply from the uh, need to understand the starting point. But I think, I, ironically, given what we did at the end of the day yesterday, I think we need to start with the audience. Learn their perspectives first and then go from the ground up. I do thank you for your time today, and I'd be more than happy to take any questions yeah, have if time I have time. We have about five minutes of questions. I wanted to comment on are, you know, they're, they're very opposition. Um, in the larger picture, I'd ask, you know, do you, do you want to operate that way? That tactic may be effective, but there's a whole other issue as to whether that means the proper tactic to be used and whether you want to do that tactic and so on. Um, however, if you make a decision if that's the route you want to go, um, still starting with the audience will allow you to better understand what those concerns are but honestly, I think the most important point is the one you share. Perhaps with those acknowledgments, that's where both sides can come a little bit more towards. You go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, I I actually think that the drive to have a single message is futile. That, and that's not the happiness news, and that doesn't make our lives easier, but I think that's the reality. Because
because there are such different perspectives on the, the natural world of what makes a healthy lawn. Is it the functionality of it that I'm getting some sunlight in my house and I can grow thick with my dog? Or do I want that you know, high end appearance or something? So the truth of the matter is I think that what makes is a more sensible approach is to start to do some audience segmentation and think about whether we can meaningfully group some of those orientations and then develop messages that are more specifically targeted at each. Time for one more. One more question. That stupid commercial thing, whatever. <laughs> I um, am not really familiar with that kind of research. But to be honest Joe Heiss is, and he's going. Well, to I think you're going to talk about that, right, later today. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I think actually that 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 Joe is going to address some of those issues in his uh, presentation on on marketing. So I mean, good, very good question, and thank you so much, Brian. That was really that was fabulous. I never even turned it on. I apologize. Oh, I think it was.